Hi, I'm Bob Patterson, the Technical Director for Neil Pride Sales International. I oversee the Binato account and uh, the engineering design of the sales uh, and manufacturing for Binato USA and Binato France for the sales we do for both companies. I'm here today in lovely Essex, Connecticut on a beautiful summer afternoon. Uh, the good folks here at Prestige Yacht Sales have offered me this brand new Binato 38 and we're going to do a couple sale trim guides, tune guides, and a short overview of how to furl your mainsail. So first up is the furling mainsail, and I'm standing here, and there's just a couple of the components I'm going to walk you through. The first, of course, is the outhaul line. It runs from the deck, up the mast, to the back of the boom, through this block, through the sail, and to the car. There's an outhaul car here. There's the inhaul line, which runs from the worm gear inside the mast, back to this point, down to the deck, and then back. It comes to this point as a guide for the worm gear, so it rolls up smoothly. The second big component, of course, in the furling main is the extrusion, or the mast. And when you have a furling mast with this type of rig configuration with the sweatbag spreaders, it's really important that the mast be as straight as possible. We recommend no more than one inch of pre-bin. So if you were to sight up the back face of the mast, and imagine a straight line, or take perhaps the top you lift and bring it here forward so you can see a straight line. The straighter the mass, the easier the furler is going to work. We've encountered numerous times boats that have been rigged up later in life by yards and they adjust the rigging so that there's amount of pre-bend and when I talk about pre-bend I'm talking about the mass bending fore and aft not tilting but actual curvature to the mast. The straighter the mast the easier the sail is going to furl up inside.